Welcome to the EZU course about creating personal lines, quote proposals in easy links. In this course, you will learn how to create and manage personal lines, quote proposals. Please note, this video is intended for agencies with client center access. So, let's get started. To preface, client center admins do not need to do anything to enable this feature but do have the ability to update preferences for proposals in client center settings. To do this, hover over the settings icon and click on client center. Next, select the portal you wish to set preferences for. On the general settings tab, scroll down to the bottom to find the proposals section. Here, you can change the task due on and assign task to preferences. On the email notification preferences tab, scroll down to the bottom to find the proposals section. Here, you can change where the email notifications are sent to and whether you want to carbon copy or blind carbon copy additional people. Should you decide to change these settings, don't forget to click save changes at the bottom of each page. Now, let's take a look at how to generate a personal lines proposal. After getting personal line quote results back from the carriers, you'll want to share the options to your client. You can do this by generating a personal lines or PL quote proposal. To generate a PL quote proposal, navigate to the quote results page of a customer's quote. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and click create proposal. You can also generate a PL proposal from the quotes tab which we will talk more about later in the video. On the getting started page, enter a proposal name and expiration date. Now, make sure the correct line of business is selected and click continue. On the carrier quotes page, select up to three carrier quotes to appear on your proposal. In the confirm quoted premium section, choose the premium types to display in the proposal. To select or deselect a premium type, simply click in the checkbox. Here, you can also select which premium, if any, you want to mark as the agent's top choice for the customer. In the Upload Supporting Documentation section, you can click in the box or drag and drop any documents you may want to include. However, this section is optional and can be left blank. When ready, click Continue. On the Educate Your Customer page, you can add a message to your customer or add a video, if you choose to do so. To embed a video in your quote proposal, enter the full URL or code into the Add a Video field at the bottom of the page. Don't worry, you'll be able to preview the video within the proposal on the next page. When ready, click the Continue button. On the final page, Preview and Send Proposal, you'll have the option to preview the proposal before sending it. To do this, click on the Open Preview button. Doing so will open a new window of the quote proposal within your agency's client center. Now is a good time to check for any errors and make sure your video works properly if you chose to add one. When you're finished previewing it, simply close the window as you normally would. Back on the Preview and Send Proposal page, the Share Proposal section allows you to send the proposal via email, text, or both. If you choose text or both, you'll want to make sure the correct phone number is selected. In the Text Message field, you can keep the default message or tailor it to your needs. Please keep in mind, there is a maximum character limit of 1600. If you choose email or both, you can choose the user in which the email will be sent from. You can also send yourself a copy or send a carbon copy or blind carbon copy to anyone of your choosing. A default subject will be entered, but you can change it to suit your needs. Additionally, you can change the default text in the message body, if you wish to do so. When you're ready, click the Send button. If the phone number and or email address entered are invalid, the system will state that it failed to send within the Activity tab of the customer's account. In this event, you'll need to unshare the proposal, then redo and resend the proposal with a valid phone number and or email address. More on how to unshare a proposal later in the video. Otherwise, you will get a message stating the proposal was sent successfully and the system will automatically log in the activity tab that a proposal was shared with the client. You now have the option to be taken to the quote results page or all quotes page. Go ahead and click on the all quotes page. On the All Quotes page, you can view and manage your personal lines quote proposals. You can also perform the same actions on the Documents tab of the customer's account, which we'll review later. On the Quotes tab, simply click the down arrow on the far right of a quote. Here, you'll find a Quotes and Proposals subtab. 
go ahead and click on the Proposals sub-tab. On this tab, you can view the proposal in Client Center by clicking on the highlighted title under the Proposal Name column. The Date Shared column will tell you the date and time in which you shared the quote proposal with your customer. The Last Viewed by Customer column will tell you the date and time the customer last viewed the proposal, while the Status column will show you whether the proposal has been viewed or not. The last column, Actions, gives you the ability to manage the quote proposal. If you share the proposal with your customer and then decide you no longer want to share it, you can click the Unshare button here. Please note, if you decide to unshare the proposal, it will be permanently deleted from Client Center, and you won't be able to share it again. In this case, you will need to create a new proposal to share to Client Center. Now, navigate to the Documents tab within your customer's account. Here, you'll find a section titled Client Center Forms. This is where you can view and manage PL quote proposals from the Documents tab. As you may notice, the columns and actions here are the same that we just discussed within the Quotes tab. Please keep in mind, upon a quote proposal's expiration date, it will be removed from Client Center and no longer visible to the client but will remain on the Documents tab under the Client Center Forms section for you to view. Lastly, we'll cover some scenarios you may encounter and what to do when they arise. The first scenario is if you go to a quote you already have a proposal for and press Create Proposal again. Because you can only have one proposal created and shared per quote, this will cause a warning pop-up that says there is already an actively shared proposal. If you are trying to resend or edit a proposal, you first need to unshare the existing proposal before trying to create a new one. The second scenario is when a customer responds to the proposal. If a customer responds to the quote on the proposal, the customer will see a message stating that the response has been sent via Client Center. An email notification will be sent and an easy links task assigned based on the proposal settings set by your agency admin. On the Activity tab within the customer's account, you can find the task with a note stating whether the customer was not satisfied with the quote or has expressed interest in the quote. Your next steps will be to follow up with the customer using your agency's standard operating procedures. That's all for this EZU course on creating personal lines quote proposals. You should now have the knowledge to create and manage personal lines quote proposals in EZLinks. Thanks for watching.